haven't found the spare parts we need, but they're in the old city. There's only 60 minutes to make the pickup, but someone has to run the gauntlet. Well, the solar panels are down, and if the wind stops blowing, we're back to the Stone Age, folks. I'll do it. Lucky the stealth bike's still half-charged. Should be enough to get you there. Just try not to break it. As if I could. The battery should make it home if you take it easy, but don't be late. And remember, don't stop for anyone or anything. Gave them an hour. 60 seconds. So you want to come join us? Yeah, you want to get out of here. Hey! Hippie girl!
we started uh, on a plain white sheet of paper that basically just said we wanted to do a very fascinating bike project. A project that is not being developed so far. We started with the performance that we wanted to achieve and then um, we selected the right components. You know, with something that you make new, uh, there's bound to be difficulties. In the design phase, they are uh, actually excellent, but in the production series, they're not so perfect. And that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for perfection. So you have to readjust certain parts. It's a very difficult bike to build because it's uh, new. It's completely new. It's built from the ground up. There are e-bikes that are either fast or agile, but we combine both. We have two gears for the motor and 14 gears for the driver. We selected materials on, on function, but it also needs to be really lightweight. The, the frame is completely new, uh, there's a new display that's being used. The passion is very uh, strong and I would describe the uh, Trafecta to be a complete new way of mobility which is uh, efficient and also extremely fun. The bike will feel what kind of terrain you're riding and adjust the suspension accordingly. Uh, if you're going fast you want the bike to be sturdy and, and solid and if you hit a bump you want it to just touch it, just to open it a little bit so that the bump doesn't like throw you off the bike. If you're riding the bike you're in complete control. creates uh, pure driving pleasure. All the controls on the bike are on your handlebars. So you can shift up, you can shift down, you can do your horn, you can do your lighting. You can basically control the whole bike on your fingertips. So if you see the bike, then it's already very special. Once you have had a chance to look at the specifications, you realize it's extremely special. Once you have driven it, that's when you uh, realize what it is. It's really unique and one of a kind. And uh, this is really exciting.